Tonight we are talking about a Glasgow 7070 peated whiskey, non chill filtered, natural color, bottled at 46% ABV, matured in virgin American oak casks, and they finish it off in a Pedro MS cask. Now, ticking all the right boxes for me, I do like a sweet peated whiskey. Um, as most of you know, I'm not a big fan of the normal peated whiskies, the Lefroy's, even the Art Pack 10. I do like it. Well, I've learned to like the Art Pack. I've had the Wee Beast as well, some other expressions from Art Pack. But I've never been a super fan of the peated whiskies. So for me, um, I keep on saying that I don't like peated whiskies, but I keep on buying the peated whiskies. So um, I was quite curious, Glasgow 7070. I did a little bit of digging on this one um, because I don't know much of the distillery, never actually heard of the distillery. So um, I thought I need to do a little bit of advanced scouting just to make sure that I have some of the facts correct. And of course, I did find a little bit of information on it. And for me, what stood out is they give quite a lot of information. It is a Highland peated whiskey. It's using the Heather peat. So I do expect to find a little bit different information with the nose and taste to when we take in consideration the Isla type of smoke. So can only be a good thing for me. The barley is smoked at 50 parts per million on the phenol scale. So um, after of course the distillation, it's going to bring down the level quite substantially. Um, so I don't expect to find a really dark peat or a over powerful peat, especially not on the nose. Now I did pour it some time ago. It is natural color, non chill filtered, 46% ABV. So there's a nice light copper color coming through. There's um, a little bit of a impurities in the glass and well, in the whiskey. Um, there's a little bit of particles floating around. So I'm not sure what that particles are. I did see it in a previous video that I also made, is that there was some light particles in it. So on the nose, on the Glasgow 77 peated whiskey, cheers. Now, as I expected, that is not really an in your face type of peated whiskey. Pedro Jimenez, well, I'm struggling a little bit to find that Pedro Jimenez. There is a sweetness to it, but it is not that sickening sweet. Well, I might use sickening. I do like a sweet whiskey. Now, it does shine through that it is sweet, but I would never have guessed that it is Pedro Jimenez. There's a little bit of a fruity component coming through, a hint of a dried fruit component, and that peat is there, but I think it's a quite low level. It feels like maybe 10, 15 parts per million, but it does show or does tell that it is peated. The 46% ABV, it's, um, it's V. If it calms down, I think if you wake it up a little bit and you stick your nose in it, it is, it's very, but it still does not feel like 46% on the nose for me. And that lovely sweetness stays there. There's a little bit of an oakiness, a little bit of a dusty note coming through. That peat quickly disappeared for me. When I first poured it, I had loads more of the peat notes on the nose. 
now it's just disappearing for me your nose is getting used to that peat that smoke it was a little bit of an ashy note a little bit of a tar note maybe a little bit of a creosote and not really a hospital or TCP note that came out now even with a little bit of an agitation I don't get any of that smoke anymore but I can tell you I well I can just only think when I put it in the mouth it's going to be a little bit of a different story so on the nose pleasant but it's not something that I'm jumping up and down of excitement on trying it well, on the taste cheers pleasantly surprised this is a lovely sweetness coming out again it does not suggest Pedro Ebenez but it's lovely light it's sweet the alcohol um, there's a hint of a punchy note coming through just want to make sure oh my word it is quite nice that peat level is definitely much higher on the taste than on the nose there's a little bit of a sweet sensation there's a little bit of a toffee note coming through there's a little bit of a um, tarry note coming through a little bit of an ashy note coming through that little bit of a hospital TCP note also appearing that alcohol level for me is just perfect I love the 46% I'm definitely not going to prove this down for me the level is nice just a little bit of a warm glow mouthfeel on the mouthfeel as well a little bit on the dry side just want to make sure it definitely it gives you a dry mouthfeel but after that you are left with a little bit of sweetness you're left with a little bit of a peat you are left with a little bit of a iodine note a little bit of an ashy note a little bit of a tar note and you also get a little bit of a savory note maybe it's like um, when you just had a nice cured nice smoked bacon note so a little bit of a barbecue bacon note quite pleasant actually so final thoughts on this whiskey it's pleasant pleasant on the nose it's not killing the the nose and of course on the taste also quite nice quite pleasant quite friendly um, something that I would definitely give to a friend that um, is not maybe a big peat drinker give it a try um, and of course let me know in a comment have you tried this one what do you think is um, well what is your opinion on it is it something that you would recommend to a friend so definitely price wise I'm not 100% sure you what you are going to pay for it I will also put a, a link somewhere that you can see how much I will pay for a full bottle hmm, some toffee notes a little bit of a vanilla note coming out now so also um, what I did find out it's um, about five to six years old so it is a very young whiskey and I'm a little bit surprised um, at that youthfulness I'm not really picking that youthfulness on the nose on also not on the taste it's not that little um, ethanol type of nose it's like that sweetness of the Pedro Jimenez and the smoke is covering it up a little bit so well done on a whiskey that's well made so thank you very much for watching please remember to like and subscribe leave a comment give me your thoughts on the Glasgow 77 Petered Edition cheers